Hello everyone, so this is a ray diagram for concave lens. So our given here are the following. We have the distance of the object, 6 cm. We have our focal length, negative 3 cm. And for the height of the object, 2 cm. So for the ray diagram, the first thing that you need to do is to draw the principal axis using your ruler. You draw a horizontal line. Next is to mark the important points. Of course, let's mark our vertex or the optical center of the concave lens, followed by the focal length. Since this is a concave lens, okay, we will be using more on the negative side or the virtual side of the lens. So from the vertex, we will measure 3 centimeters. There you go. And then if you're going to double, okay, this is your focal point. And if you're going to double the focal length, you will have 6 centimeters, which will mark the twice the focal point, okay? So this is now our negative twice uh, focal point. Now we do the same on the other side of our lens, okay? Let's have the positive focal point here and twice the focal length we have our positive 2f okay once you have this the next thing that you need to do is to draw your concave lens so again don't worry if your concave lens the drawing of your concave lens is not good you can always draw an imaginary vertical line again that crosses the vertex or the op optical center of our lens. Again, this vertical line will help you when to bend the refracted rays. After that, let's measure the distance of the object. So the distance of the object here is 6 centimeters. So from the vertex, let's me measure 6 centimeters. Okay, there you go, which is the object is at 2F. The object is at 2F since the distance of the object is 6 centimeters. And since the height of the object is given, it is 2 centimeters, we will measure 2 centimeter. Let's measure 2 centimeters here for the height of the object. So here, this is your 2 centimeter and this is our object now again we have our uh, three rays here we have our p f ray we have our f p ray and our v v ray so for ray diagram you can use at least two rays so again this here are your incident rays and this rays here are your refracted rays Okay, so let me draw and show to you what it looks like, what PF ray looks like for concave lens. So first thing is you have to draw the incident ray from the tip or the head of your object. You draw, a, you draw an incident ray that is parallel to the principal axis. Okay, and for the refracted ray, you, do, you draw the refracted ray as if it came from the virtual focal point. So you align your ruler as if it came from the virtual focal point. So it looks like this. Okay? That's your PF ray. And since concave lens is a diverging lens, you have to extend the refracted ray being uh, here on the negative side. Okay, so as you can see, as if the refracted ray came from the virtual focal point. So this is what it looks like for P, F ray. Okay, P, F ray. Now let's pair it with F, P ray. F, P ray. For your F, P ray, the incident ray is as if it is moving towards this positive focal point. Okay, the incident ray is as if it is moving towards this positive focal point here however once it reaches the boundary here it reaches the lens okay it will be refracted parallel to the principal axis 
So this is your P, F ray. Now again, you need to extend the refracted ray, okay, here at the negative side of the lens. So as you can see, the actual or the real refracted rays do not merge on the other side, on this side of the lens, but on this side, at the, at the negative side, the virtual rays converge or merge. So the point where they merge, the virtual rays here, where, where they merge, you can draw the image, and the image is upright. From the merging point to the principal axis, the image would be upright. Okay? So if you will look at the image here, okay, it is upright. Now you can, I will... You can also add the V-ray here. The V-ray simply crosses the optical center or the vertex. Okay, so as you can see still, okay, the V-ray merge, okay, or converge, okay, here. So this is what it looks like. So if we're going to describe our image using the acronym LOST, Location of the image. This is our image. It is uh, behind the lens. We can say this is behind the lens. And this is the front side of the lens, the positive side. We could say behind the lens. Okay. For the orientation, upright or inverted. Of course, it is upright. For the size, if you're going to compare the size of our image compared to the size of our object, it is actually reduced in size or smaller and then for the type of image since our image here is upright therefore our image is virtual